Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you and the person that's currently on your mind, okay? I want to see how this person feels about you. I want to see what's this person's intentions and what's going on between you and them, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me spirit. How does my Virgo's person feel about my Virgo? How does my Virgo's person feel about my Virgo? Show me. Okay. All right, I know that I crossed the line with you. I feel you leaving me behind. Okay, somebody knows. They, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They know what they've done. It says, I want to tell you how I feel. Somebody wants to talk. Finding out the truth crushed me. Hmm. And so many things remind me of you. So for some of you guys, for some of you guys, this is somebody that you're dealing with right now, present moment. For some of you guys, it's somebody that you're not dealing with right now, present moment. Somebody, for some of you guys, somebody knows that they've crossed the line with you and they feel you pulling away from them. Somebody wants to tell you how they really and truly feel. Somebody's ashamed and embarrassed by their behavior. For some of you guys, there's an energy here of you matching someone's energy. For some of you guys, you may have, there's an energy here of you yourself. You may have actually moved on to someone else or you may have started entertaining someone else. That message is meant for someone, not everyone. For some of you guys, you could have been on a pause with someone or someone could have been in and out of your life. Someone could have left you. And right now, present moment, you're in something new. Right now, present moment, you're in something new. For somebody here, you could actually be engaged or, move, or living with someone new. This could be something that has moved quite quickly. You could be dating someone new right now, present moment. This is something that's moving quite quickly. And there's someone here that wants to tell you how they feel. But they're finding out or they have found out that you have moved on. Someone wants to let you know that there are so many things in their life that remind them that they rem that reminds them of you. And someone has a lot, a lot of regret. But for some of you guys, it's too late. For some of you guys, it's too late. Or for some of you guys, yeah. For some of you guys, there's this person feels like they really and truly in their heart of heart feel like they don't have another chance with you or they don't have a chance with you. They don't have a chance of rectifying the situation. For some of you guys, you may agree with this person. They don't have a chance. But, I, but what I can say is that this person feels that. They feel that. But this person is regretful. This person is remorseful. This person is, even if they're not expressing it to you, they're acknowledging, acknowledging that within themselves of what they have done that they shouldn't have done. Yeah, life is not life is not the same for this person right now, present moment. From what they had with you versus what what they have right now, present moment. So if this person for someone here, if this person made you feel like you weren't giving enough to this connection or that they could do better than you, that's not the case. That's not the case. That's a hard pill for this person to swallow. Because for some of you guys, this is person's ego they're having to swallow. Strong energy. How does this person feel about my Virgo spirit? Ooh, Knight of Swords. This person wants to come and chase you. Four of Swords. 
this person is willing to chase after you. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This person wants to communicate with you. This person feels that you are, you're taking it easy. This person sees you healing, resting, strong. Like uh, this person is seeing you heal from what they have done to you. And this person sees you pursuing for somebody here. This person actually sees you moving forward, sees you pursuing something else, chasing after something else. So this person feels you moving, truly feels you moving on from them. Because this is kind of giving me an unbothered energy. This is kind of giving me an unbothered energy. Ten of swords. Yeah. This person knows what they've done to you. This person absolutely knows what they've done to you. For some of you guys, this person wants to chase after you. This person wants to communicate with you. But this person can't catch you. This person can't find you. For some of you guys, you're ducking and diving this person. Hmm. Show me. How does this person feel about my Virgo? Ooh, see that Ten of Swords again? You feel like that person got some BS still with them. You still, you feel like this person still got that same old... You feel like this person still got the same old stuff. Justice. Libra energy. For a lot of you guys, you feel like this person... You, you feel like you've learned your lesson from this person. Like, all, you've, you've already obtained all that you can get out of this. Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Two of Swords. Okay. Three, six, oh, seven. Okay. Strong Libra, Aries energy. So this person feels, for some of you guys, this person feels like you're their karmic. Like you yourself, you, you're, you're, you yourself, you're, you were the catalyst to this person's change. For some of you guys, this person feels like you feel like you're too good for them or that you're better than them. For some of you guys, this person feels like you have that other people are other people's influencing, influencing you. And for some of you guys, there's this, this is there's an energy here of you putting other people before this person, either putting other people or your career or your job before them. Who else got this? Taurus got this strong in their energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus or you could have Taurus strong in your chart because Taurus got this same energy right here. Now, this person sees you as a divine individual. This person sees you as a boss, but this person sees that you don't, you like to be in control. This person acknowledges that there are a lot of people look up to you a lot of you guys are entrepreneurs. A lot of you guys are bosses. A lot of you guys, you're like the head honcho. Some of you guys could work in the legal field. Some of you guys could be entrepreneurs. This person wants to reckon, this person wants to reunite with you. But either on this, this person feels that there's other people, could be friends that's interfering with you and them reconciling, with you and them reuniting. For some of you guys, there's an energy here of wherever you go, this person doesn't go. This is almost like wherever you go, this person can't get in where you go. That message is meant for someone, not everyone. There's an energy here of a lot of other people interfering in this connection. And for, for a small group of you guys, it could be somebody's work, somebody's career, to a sword some of you guys you could have this person blocked you could truly have this person blocked because you don't trust this person there's an energy here of not trusting this person this person feels like you don't trust them this person feels like you don't trust them this person for some of you guys this person feels that you're in something else and that's why you don't want to be bothered with them for a small group of you guys, this person feels like there's someone else or something else that interferes with this connection. Hmm. But the overall energy is that this person 
sees and feels that you're moving on from them, they can't bother you. They can't get to you the way that they used to. That's their karmic justice. And look how you're, you're just, your energy is magnificent. Your energy is so strong. Your energy is so strong. Strong energy. Let's see. How does my Virgo feel about this person, spirit? How does my Virgo feel about this person? Knight of Pentacles with the Page of Swords and Death, Scorpio energy. You feel like this person watches you and a part of you feels like this person is coming towards you and you feel like this person spends a lot of time watching you but at the same time, there's an energy here of something being done over. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. You feel like this person moves slow like molassa. But you feel like, I f like you feel like this person is coming towards you. A lot of you guys, you feel like this person can't do without you, actually. Like for some of you guys, there's an energy here of you feeling like this person depends on you. There's an energy for some of you guys feeling like this person is loyal to you. And for some of you guys, this could be another Virgo Taurus Capricorn. We also have this page of swords, Libra Gemini Aquarius. This person watches you. A lot of you guys, you know, this person watches you. For some of you guys, you may receive some type of email from this person or some type of message from this person. Hmm. This person's upset. This person's upset that all they can do is watch you. Yeah. Some of you guys, you laugh at the fact that this person is mad. Strong Scorpio energy here. You feel like this is over. You feel like this is over. And, and you don't care for a lot of you guys. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. How does my Virgo feel about this person? I just heard like for somebody here, it's like this person is dead to them. Like this person can watch you all they want. This is a soulmate. For, for a lot of you guys, you feel like this person, this person is and was a soulmate. Three of Cups. Hmm. Hmm. A friend. So you've had some good times with this person. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. You're at a loss here. So for some of you guys, this is something that has ended that's, that, that may really and truly come back around. With the Two of Cups, this talks about a partnership, a connection. This talks about a soul connection. But this is telling me, like for some of you guys, you yourself, you're holding on to hope of reuniting with this person. You're wanting a trend for, for a lot of you guys. This is telling me what you, this is like, this is almost like giving me a manifestation. Like for some of you guys, it's like you're trying to manifest a soulmate. For some of you guys, there's someone here that this could be someone new. Like this could truly, truly be someone new here. For some of you guys, this could be someone new that you met online. And things are moving really, really slow with you and this person. You and this person can go out. Have, you and this person, you're going to have some fun. You're having some fun. You feel like this person. Yeah, there's two different energies here. So for some of you guys, there's a person here that, you, that you're ending things with or that you've ended things with that you know this person's watching you and you know this person still wants you. That's for some of you guys. For some of you guys, you have someone new here that you're celebrating and going places with. You've For some of you guys, you've introduced someone new to your friends. There's an energy here for some of you guys, like someone here that's lost out. Someone's lost out. Yeah, someone's lost out on a connection with you. 
and that's what's crushing them because for some of you guys you found your soulmate this is someone new who is this new soulmate who is this new soulmate for my virgos ace of pentacles for some of you guys this is somebody here that has something to offer you the empress for some of you guys this could be somebody that's older a mother or father figure so this person could be a parent but this person is loving and nurturing could be a taurus libra this is somebody that could be older this person is a parent this person knows how to be a parent this person is loving and nurturing this is somebody that cooks and cleans this is somebody that's good with their hands and good with their like this is somebody here that yeah that's some nice energy this new soulmate so for some of you guys this is somebody new and this person has something to offer they have their own whoever this person is this person has their own strong energy yeah what are you and this person celebrating what is my virgo and this person celebrating spirit Oh, the Hierophant's commitment. Taurus energy. A lot of you guys, this is a Taurus. Seven of Wands. Hmm. This relationship is moving fast. This relationship is moving towards commitment and it's moving real fast. And some of you guys are feeling a little uncomfortable by this. Some of you guys, while it feels good, it's kind of scary. For some of you guys, this new relationship, while it feels good, it is kind of scary. Yeah. It's unexpected. Unexpected. For some of you guys, it's a shocker that you're moving on to, to some people. Even to, towards the person that you, that, um, that you left behind. Who is this person that's watching? Who is this person that's watching my Virgos? Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy, somebody here that don't have nothing, Page of Cups. For some of you guys, this is somebody here that this could be a younger Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, somebody that cares about you. But this person doesn't have anything to offer you, Queen of Pentacles, they're not giving. And for some of you guys, this person could be in like some type of financial hardship. But this is somebody here that can't offer you the stability that you're looking for. But they're watching you, could be another Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you guys, you may receive some type of communication, some type of message from this person. This is like someone here that you. this person could be your friend, but this person cannot be your husband or wife. This person can take you out for lunch, for coffee, but this person can't pay a bill. Like they can't offer you anything on a grand scale, but this person's watching you. This person is watching you. Show me death. Who is this person that my Virgos is ending things with? Show me death. The hermit Virgo energy. Somebody that you're pulling back. You're in, somebody that you're actually in, watching out for. Nine of swords. Nine of swords. Somebody here that's caused you a lot of stress and anxiety. Somebody with the hermit you've you've learned a lesson from this person strong virgo scorpio energy you've learned a very valuable lesson from this person you've learned all you've gotten all the wisdom you can get out of this situation you're pulling back your energy from this person nine of swords you've lost a lot of sleep over this a lot of sleepless nights a lot of stress a lot of anxiety this was a nightmare for some of you guys this was a nightmare for some of you guys strong strong energy yeah strong energy show me spirit what's this new person's intentions with my virgo what's this new person's intentions mm. four swords so this new person needs to wants it this new person too is healing or is needing to heal this is kind of giving me like not wanting to rush things or not needing to rush thing two of wands they themselves they they have a there's an indecisiveness i feel like in both of you guys energy 
Like, I feel like there's an indecisiveness in both of you guys' energy. Like, both of you guys feel like things are moving fast, quite quickly. And it's like you both kind of feel like pulling back a little. There's kind of like a pulling back a little because there's still some healing that needs to be done. And for some of you guys, this is someone, someone's rushing from one relationship to another relationship and someone's not truly healed or someone hasn't taken enough time to get themselves together, meaning their thoughts, their actions, their life. Like someone needing to get their life together. Strong energy. Yeah, show me spirit. We have clock. You need time. Takes time. And time cycles, time to heal and progress. You see that? Look, spirit is not playing. That's exactly what I just said. That's exactly what I just said. Like this new person, you and this new person. There's potential here. There is potential with this Ace of Pentacles of something solid. And there is commitment. There's potential of commitment of a higher relationship. But there's a need for a time and healing between you and this person. You and this person, y'all have fun. And it's like continue having fun. We have karmic relationship. A relationship is fleeting. Fleeting from turmoil. Look at that. Resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So for a lot of you guys, you're ending a karmic cycle, a karmic relationship. You're letting go and you're loving yourself. So some of you guys, you've let go of a karmic relationship and you're by yourself. And some of you guys, you've gone on to something else. But you're leaving this behind. Show me. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak. Pain. See, there's still healing that needs to happen. There's still healing that needs to happen. Show me. Some of you guys, you've experienced some heart, heartbreak, pain. You're in separation. There's been some deception, shocking attacks. Somebody's attacking. For some of you guys, this person that you're ending things with, they're attacking your reputation. They're attacking you. They're gossiping about you. Because they're, it's like they hurt you, but they're talking about you. They're attacking your name for some of you guys. This person that you're leaving behind, they've caused you pain. They've broke your heart. They've deceived you, but they're attacking you. But you've learned your lesson and you're letting this go because there's no growth in this either way. And then we have wedding rings. Some of you guys, you're, this, this new relationship is going to end in marriage. This is going to be somebody here that you're going to marry. It says wedding rings, union, wedding, married, a soul connection, eternal love and everlasting promise. So even though right now, present moment, spirit is calling you guys to kind of take things slow. Our spirit is seeing how you guys may be pulling back a little bit. This relationship is a soulmate connection. There's a lot of joy in this connection. There is commitment, but you guys need to heal. You guys need to rest and you guys need to take things slow. Take things slow, but this is going to end in some type of wedding, some type of union. And there is still someone here stalking you. This past person is still here stalking you. Looking, stalking, gaslighting, focusing out, perception. For some of you guys, you could be done with a Capricorn too. That's a strong, strong energy. All right, my loves. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye, guys.